Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. Tonight is, uh, actually, this is episode 52. Um, it is Friday night. Uh, what is it, February? Oh, yeah, February 21st, 2020. Um, we're off this weekend. Next weekend's going to be pretty busy. We have uh, the Arena Theater in Houston on the 28th and then we have um, come and take it live brings back cocktails on in Austin Texas on the the next day on the 29th so we have the arena theater in Houston on Friday the 28th and Austin Texas on Saturday the 29th if you guys are in or around any of those areas, including San Antonio, please come on down. Come on down. Let me know you're there. Let me know you listen to this podcast, and and uh, I'll introduce you to the girls. How's that? Okay? <laughs> you come up to me. You tell me you listen to my podcast, but you got to remind me you want to meet the girls. I, I want to meet the girls. I got you. Okay? So uh, don't forget that. Um, what else? Uh, oh, listen, a big, big uh, happy birthday shout out to my nephew-in-law, uh, Rick. He's my uh, my wife's nephew. Uh, mad, mad cool people. Great to be uh, have him as a part of my family. So happy birthday, brother. I know it was yesterday. Uh, your aunt screwed up, okay? So uh, I'm wishing you uh, a happy birthday today. I know you listen to this podcast. I'm not even going to let you know I gave you a shout out. So if you don't respond to this, <laughs> if you don't somehow respond to this, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say, okay, well, you don't listen to the podcast. But no, nah, I know you do, brother. So anyway, happy birthday, man. Enjoy. Uh, you have the whole weekend. So party and be safe. Peace. Um, anyway, so tonight, what, what are we planning on doing? Uh, tonight's going to be a real easy night. Relax. Watch a movie. Santana's not here. So, yesterday, well, no, day before yesterday, we received uh, an entire case of the new 808 Beats. Okay, if you guys are not familiar with it, it's the new California red wine that uh, Andrew and I became a part of. Um... It's uh, run by my boy, Mario Pacheco. Big shout out to him and his lovely wife, of course, Lucia. Um, I was never a drinker. Hated wine my whole life. Hated beer. I could drink a beer if it's one of those small colonitos and it has to be massively cold. And I have to be hot, like I just mowed the lawn or something. Then I could down it. Liquor, hard liquor. Um, I could do it to be down with the crew. So if I'm with my fellow artists or friends and we're in a circle and they want to, you know, everybody want to take a shot together, I can do it. I would never initiate it. <laughs> I would never take the shot by myself. Uh, but I will join in. I won't be approved. Um, if I want a drink of my own, um, it's going to be a Bailey's. It'll be a Bailey's. It's usually a double because that will be all I have for the whole night. So I make it a double. And it has to have ice in it. And I basically sip it till like the end of the night. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so uh never really um a drinker. Angel told me before you go to get before you do the podcast tonight, pour yourself a small little bit of wine and take it in there. You can't talk about the wine if you're not at least sipping on it. Okay, so she sounds like a straight-up pusher. <laughs> now watch. All right, guys, if I become an alcoholic, 
you know who to go to, okay? <laughs> but um, no, for real. Um, yeah, so I'm, I poured myself a little bit, and I have it right here. Let me take another seven. Let me see. Let me see if I could describe like what does wine taste to me? Okay, so she told me like today we have spaghetti. Now she wanted us to drink wine, try the wine. My wife is trying to teach me this shit, but I'll go along with it because I, I kind of like the industry, you know? <clears throat> Just like freestyle. I love freestyle music, but I love the business of it a lot more. That's what kind of revs me up and keeps me going. Same thing with this whole wine thing, man. I kind of, it's not the wine. I don't need to drink it. I could taste it, kind of know what's, but I like the business. I like the whole idea. California, it's like a whole community within itself, like has its own language, its own universe. It's really fascinating. I'll tell you, it's really fascinating. Um, but anyway, so Angel wanted to have, we have spaghetti and meatballs tonight. We brought Santana home, I mean, to our moms. Then we came here and she wanted to have it with wine. And as I was, um, as she was serving, I looked out, I told you, I told her, I said, listen, I'm be real with you, man. I'll try some of this wine with you, but I can't drink it with no spaghetti, man. I need a soda. <laughs> I gotta, it's really the only time I drink a soda. I'll drink a uh, diet ginger ale, that's my thing. Um, I don't do diet because I'm trying to lose a little bit of 300 plus pounds. Uh, I drink the diet because I, it's not so sweet, so, and it's not thick and tarry. Um, but I have to, that's what I have to drink with my, with my food. I try water. I can do water also, but um, if I have a soda or Kool-Aid, I'd rather do that. So anyway, I, told, I said, listen, I'll do this. Let me just eat my food, enjoy it. Okay, because I don't want to, you know, say, hey, man, this doesn't work good together. I, everybody says it does. I know it does. It does. I'm just one of them dudes. I don't, really don't try everything. So but anyway, so I pour myself a small little piece of glass, just, just like the, I see them do it in the movies. It's a, one of my small glasses. My, I don't have. I didn't take a wine glass, but I'm a dude. I don't know, dude. Yeah, you know what? Dudes do use those wine glasses. Cause I see Mario taking pictures, holding them things. It just dawned on me. But anyway, <laughs> so um, anyway, I have my small cup, my small glass here, and I filled up about a third of it. So I have it right here. And let me see. So when these people, okay, I'm gonna try to do this. Let's see if I'm good at this shit. Okay, so when they get this wine, I might have the wrong glass for it though. I'm gonna hold it up. Hold it up to the light. What do I see? Straight up? Looks like blood. Am I right? <laughs> That's the red that I see in it. Now, hold, hold up. Yeah, I'm putting it right in front of the light. Uh, it could be the, the glass that I'm using. My glass has like a little, uh, a little bit of decorations on the sides, clear glass with little decorations in it, so it could be thrown off the light. But so if I looked at it, I wouldn't say it's red. I wouldn't say it's purple. Um, if I had to pick the kind of red, if I had to look around, it's like a blood red. Like if Dracula filled this shit up with blood, this is what it would look like. <laughs> okay, so. I always see them holding it up, so I don't know if that whole blood, maybe there, somebody's gonna say, wow, you're a natural, that's what you're supposed to say, it, it, it looks like blood, so, <laughs> but uh, that'd just be a coincidence, alright, so now, the next thing they do is, they usually smell it, right, they sniff it, now, I saw these people, I saw this on TV, they take their nose, they put their whole nose, like, but I have the wrong glass, so when I put my, my face in this one, it goes from my nose all the way up to my hair, so I can actually get hair <laughs> in my wine. I don't want to do that. So um, I'll just smell it from what I can. So now the smell actually smells good. Does it smell? Is it like grape juice? I'm trying to think. Oh, bear with me, guys. I'm actually I'm here smelling this thing like a hundred times. I'm trying to really see if I can pinpoint what it's all about. No, man. It doesn't smell like anything else but wine. Like, I, I don't know this smell anywhere. I don't think it smells like grapes at all. Well, I mean, it's a grape flavor, I guess. I don't know. But no, it smells like wine. <laughs> okay? So, again, maybe we'll say, yes, yes. That's the correct answer. You're supposed to say it smells like wine. 
It looks like blood and smells like wine. You are a natural. Okay. All right. So what's the next thing they do? They tap the glass. Does that mean anything? I never seen them do that, but I just added that. Okay. So when you guys are testing your wine, make sure you tap the glass. And depending on what that sounds like will determine how much you like the wine. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the next step, the taste test. Okay, here we go. Bear with me, guys. Now, I know they do that too. They, they, they taste it. And you know what? I don't know. I'll tell you this. It's weird. It's almost like, yeah, it's almost like a grape juice without the sweetness. Now, people might call this sweet. Saying, this ain't sweet to me, man. <laughs> okay? I used to put 10 tablespoons of sugar in my coffee. Trust me, this isn't, this isn't sweet. I'm down to like four tablespoons, so I cut down quite a bit. It's been a while. But anyway, so, okay, take another sip. Let me see. Now, I did something else I wasn't sure I was supposed to do. The first time I drank it, I swallowed it, and then I, 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 I don't know what you call it, I sucked my lips, <laughs> because I've seen people do it. I don't know, I'm trying to see what is it they, they, they're tasting, okay? The second time I just drank right now, I put it in my mouth, and I just kind of left it in there. Now, I've seen them do that, I've seen them wash their their mouth out, you know, with the, like, rinse their mouth out with the wine and spit into a bucket. The problem is I don't have a bucket here, so I had to swallow that shit after I did that. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, that is not the way to drink wine, <laughs> okay? I think people who like wine won't like that. So, yeah, I couldn't, def I definitely couldn't hold this thing on my tongue. It, it, I don't know. I don't know. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you this. this I'm not saying this wine is not good. I'm telling you that I don't know how to judge wine. <laughs> That's it. I don't know what to say. And I've never really drank it before. So it's, I'm kind of, you know, I think the first time I really drank it was last weekend when Mario met with us in the restaurant and brought a bottle. That's the first time I really tasted wine. Like, I think when I was maybe eight, I sipped it and said, Ugh, this is nasty and never touched it again. But, um... So, okay, so I could see, okay, so, all right, when I first started drinking diet soda, right, after years and years of drinking a regular sweet, uh, uh, syrupy soda, all of a sudden I switched to a diet, and I think I'm going to die. It's the worst tasting, it's like I'm drinking freaking the can, that's it, like a freaking liquid metal, it just was horrible, horrible, horrible. When I got with Angel... She was drinking diet, and I started drinking diet with her. No, no, I think she was drinking regular, and then I started, we, we decided to try diet, and we started drinking diet, because I think it, one of us or both of us heard someone say that once you go like three days drinking diet, it starts to taste like normal, like normal soda. Now, after drinking that soda, that diet soda, I would never believe that, because that shit tasted nasty, okay? But we did it until this day. We drink only diet sodas because, and trust me, we ain't lose no weight. We've gained weight. So diet sodas do not make you lose weight. Okay, that's a disclaimer. Anybody who who says differently, because uh, I didn't lose a damn thing. But um, if you want to eliminate the like kind of low the, sh the sweetness of it, okay, then then it works. And uh, the syrup, you want to kind of thin it out. Yeah, it works. You know. Because now if I drink a regular soda like today, I'll be like, ugh, like you can't even fool me. You can't even accidentally put it in my class. Like when we go to a restaurant, there's always someone who's going to forget that it was diet and give you a regular one or give you the wrong one, switch it with somebody. But you know it's regular the minute you taste it. So, but now that taste that I had with the soda, that kind of, I could taste that with the wine. I could, but it's not a bad thing. There's no, I'm saying this is how I taste it. Remember, I'm not a drinker. Don't know much about wine. Maybe 
Maybe once we get through this case, I'll be a wine drinker. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I can see how people can get used to this just like I got used to the diet soda. That I can see. I can understand that because it has that taste. It has that taste where I'm going to taste it now again. I mean, I might as well drink this shit while I'm on. I'm doing a podcast right now. Yeah. Yeah, I could, I could see, like, I think what it is for me, the taste, I expect it to be sweet. Once it hits my lips, when it goes down, it's almost like you ever um, go to, like, you know, bite one thing and accidentally bought, bit something else. Or a lot of times it happens with drinks. You think you're drinking, uh, you're picking up your soda, 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 and then all of a sudden you accidentally pick up your water. And when you taste, you put in... Your mind isn't comprehending that you're now drinking water and not soda. So it kind of creates this bit of confusion until you kind of figure it out. And your your eyes look for it to see what the change is. And sure enough, you notice it's water. And then your brain says, oh, okay, it's water. Now the taste makes sense, you know. So um, I can see that being, you know, that's what, that's what. When, when I put this in my mouth and I'm sipping on this and this hits my lips, yeah, I expect it to taste really sweet like a grape juice, but it doesn't. If anything, it's more of a bitter taste. So, yeah, it's a bitter, it's a bitter taste. Um, people love this. And I mean, okay, disclaimer, my wife loves this wine. Trinia loved this wine. Sunshine love this wine. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about this wine. Okay, and these are people who like wine and can tell the difference between good wine and bad wine. This wine can be $8,000, 70-year-old wine, and I still wouldn't know what to say about it. I'd still be like, oh, it's nasty. <laughs> so, but, um, but apparently everyone who li- likes wine is really loving this. Okay, I don't know. Am I doing the right thing? Like, am I sitting here trying to get into wine? Like, am I trying to learn to drink, or should I just go by my natural instincts and just say, you know, okay, you're not a drinker, man. <laughs> Stop trying to force it. But, um, but I don't know. It's interesting, though. <laughs> it's interesting. So, but anyway, so those are the characteristics: um, color of blood. Um, I forgot what I said. Uh, oh, it smells like wine, and it tastes. I don't know. Like grapes with no sugar. That might be it. Grapes with no sugar. That might be it. Question though. If anybody knows, Mary, you probably hear this and you'll probably be able to answer this question too. When they talk about dry wine, like is this considered a dry wine? I do feel a little dryness like right in my gums, like underneath my, my, my top lip on my gums. Feels like a little dryness in there. Is this the wine or am I just like crazy? Mm. Okay, so... I had about a third of this glass full. I'm looking at it right now. I've taken several sips, but it still looks like it's a third of the glass. So (laughs) I got some work to do. I'm gonna uh, end up taking this uh, into the house and uh, I should be finished it probably, finished with it uh, probably uh, before I go to bed. (laughs) So, I'll try to put down this glass. My wife will probably put down the rest of the bottle. So, but anyway, let me let me look at this label. I've actually brought another one in here. So, it's called 808 Beats. Um, 808, for those who don't know, is um, was basically the drum um, that was used on a lot of freestyle and hip hop uh, tracks. The 808 was is the name of the drum machine. Um, it was called 808, and then. Uh, the um the drum that they used was called like some people say they call it 808 beat or 808 bass but it's not really a bass like a, a guitar bass it's more like a bass like a bass drum 
So we came up with 808 um, beats. That's what Mario brought in beats. He had already uh, solidified that when I came back to him and said, let's not call it beats, man. Let's call it bass. Let's keep it. So, but we were already stuck with beats and it, it looks good. He kind of, he hooked it up with the Z at the end. So it looks really, really dope. Uh, and then uh, the slogan, taste the bass. Um, yeah, that was another one of my uh, my genius writing uh, 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 tips there. So, um, but I thought it was really cool. Um, if you guys look at the label, real tiny in the bottom corner is a, is a photo of um, Angel OCG representing the first bottle, you know? So um, I do encourage everyone to go out there. If you love wine, if you like wine, is get in touch with us and we'll have them ship you your wine right from the, the winery. How's that? Um, get a couple bottles, one you drink, the other one you hold on to, so when you see Angel, she can sign it for you, okay? Um, and then there's a whole story in the back of how this thing was uh, put together. Um, a pretty interesting story. Um, Mario, him and I became friends online, that we, we spoke and um, he knew about my cologne, or did I tell him, I forgot, but uh, Freestyle by La. And uh, that I put out in 2008, and he was really interested in the cologne. He said he would, he would have loved to have done that. And then he talked about his idea about uh, doing a wine, um, like you know, you know, kind of like based on like freestyle, you know. And uh, I kind of gave him my tips on how that can be done, and um, and that I felt that there'll be a lot of support, especially with this market and. Uh, uh, our community, you know, so he went and uh, we wanted to put together a really cool name that 808 Beats was, it's cool because if you are in the business, okay, a fans, a uh, DJ, or if you're in the business, DJ, producer, a lot of times artists, you, you're familiar with 808, you know what that is, um, and if you're a fan, it's just cool and it might give you a reason to want to, want to um, Find out what it what what is an 808. So it, it strikes up a little curiosity, you know. So, but um, and then there's a cool little story in the back. Uh, what what I was saying was a uh, combination between this passion for wine and this passion for freestyle. That was basically um, Mario and I basically kind of interlocking and and seeing that there's this there's this connection that can that can actually work between the two genres. And I've spoken about this many times in my vlogs, other podcasts, even my written blogs, where I tell people all the time is to um, find that passion that you have and let's try to figure out how we connect it with freestyle. Hip hop has been doing it for years and they're very successful and there are so many people who are living off of that genre, okay? Freestyle is like a wide open, like a job fair. There are so many opportunities. So, so when he had the idea, and we kind of, we kind of, then we kind of brainstormed, and came up with all these cool ideas, and then uh, we wrote the little story in the back. So if you read, get the wine, um, just read the back. It's actually pretty interesting. So, but other than that, you know, once again, it's called 808 Beats. Uh, taste the bass. Um, I appreciate you guys. Um, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like share, comment on whatever platform uh, you find us. I spend a lot of time on Facebook, Instagram, I'm there every day. Um, but Facebook, I interact with a lot of people. So you can find me there under my name, Latif Mercado. Um, and that's about it, okay? All right, guys, until tomorrow, be cool, be safe, and good night, freestyle. Down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.